Sagittarius, Sagittarius, welcome to Sag Life Tarot. I am Shannon. I'll be your tour guide on this quiet, peaceful, prosperous energy tour guide tour. Let's get into some cards and see what the energy has for us tonight. Sagittarius, welcome, welcome. Pray with me, won't you? God, universe, creator, source, energy, vibrations. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Mother and Father. Humbly we come before you in gratitude. Thank you. Goodness, mercy, love, joy, peace, prosperity, long life, happiness, and protection. From me to you, Sag. Welcome. Amen. Welcome in, welcome in. Sag, this going to be one of the nights where it's raining. I got my balcony door open. Luckily, I'm on the second floor. But I'm trying to be quiet. Not too loud. Mm, but not too quiet. Let's see what the energy has. I hope you guys had a great day. I did. My oldest just turned 31 today. I am 48 years old. Hello to me. Welcome to me. I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. I have seven kids and 10 grandbabies. Okay? So I'm human. I'm live right here with you been through a lot of struggles, going through a lot, been through a lot, very wise for my four and eight, yes, and life is great, it's okay to say that we being patient, because this is what we been, patient, be patient, this energy is coming, I'm not rushing it, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels not rushing it. It's something to be said tonight. It's something about tonight. I think the energy around you is thinking. Mm, Emperor coming out first. See? <sighs> Patience. Remembering. Knowing that the road that you went down was a very tough road, masculine or feminine. Aries energy. Very hard. Something you definitely had to pause a few times in life to regain balance. Somebody very strong, very confident. I feel not too emotional. Hard to understand this energy's true emotions. Hmm, six of pentacles. Let's get another card. I'm going for four cards. Okay, so we could do an eight card spread. I'm going for four. Four cards here. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. Giving and taking, receiving. Finally, bare uh, necessities being met. Page of Swords. Somebody real young. For some, with the bare necessities being met, it could be some justice coming to where you were unfairly treated. Somebody could have been looking down on you like, 
you were less than could have been a juggle going on a third party situation somebody in this energy is very aggressive very dominant very uh controlling even it could have been a couple people in this situation but i feel like somebody want to communicate with you what's going on and how whatever they going through because somebody could be somebody could be getting unfairly treated in a situation it could be a lot of talk about this situation page of swords a lot of uh background research somebody could be trying to see what you got going on because you're very successful very wealthy very independent person type person so you could be you could have people that's watching you somebody's watching you with negative intentions but most of this energy is you being breadcrumbed for some and for some in a work aspect not being given what was rightfully due to you but you still seem to look so successful so wealthy to others you carry yourself in a manner where it still looks like you have a lot of wealth here nine of pentacles is here could have been single for a long time for some people nine years it's been some growth though you learned a lot got a lot of experience possibly learned more about yourself learn to treat yourself first somebody loves wearing jewelry pink could be somebody's color here is somebody here who is in a leadership position possibly able to give you a job for some the kind of job that you've been hoping for Somebody could be going back to school. A lot of research is here. Justice is definitely on being served. You are being given now what is rightfully deserved to you. Somebody could, everybody, your guardian angels are very strong. They very Hands on is what I'm getting. They watching out. They looking out. But you very strong here. Somebody been through so much. Like so many dirt roads. A, a lot of people on these roads were just takers. And you've been giving and giving and giving just constantly to kids even. That were not your kids. Yes. Somebody like jewelry. High heels, maybe. Somebody like wearing heels. I do. I see two people got heels on on here. Ten of Wands. It almost fell on the floor. But it's right side up. So the burdens, again, you've been carrying a lot of burdens. You could have been. Of course, by yourself, taking keep, taking care of bills by yourself, um, took care of the kids by yourself, took care of other people's kids by yourself. But everything is looking up for you. Everything is in your hands to make a difference out of it, to mold it for some for some, you, your hands is your gift, your talent. Somebody could be healing hands, have healing hands. Somebody could arts and craft something. Somebody builds something. Somebody writes something. Somebody's hands is very skilled. 
somebody been carrying a lot of everybody i feel like been carrying a lot of burdens a lot of other people's baggage to the point where you gave and gave and didn't have nothing left for yourself i want y'all to know i don't have a curfew <laughs> This one might be one of those ones where I'm going in. What we doing? Oh, look at this. Wow. Knight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles and the Tower. Oh, and look at the bottom of the deck. And I'm taking this overall energy. And I feel this strongly. Nine of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. You've been delivering to yourself, giving unto yourself now willing to give back to you now this knight of cups after carrying all of this baggage somebody want to come in and give you an offer but i feel like it's a, a slow steady offer you could have more than one person trying to give you an offer with these two knight of cups side by side this energy is younger than you somebody who is very attractive uh could possibly not have much as as much as you have you have a lot to offer on your table as opposed to this energy who has less than you in the knight of pentacles energy this nine of pentacles six of pentacles energy says you have a lot on your table you are giving you have resources to give and you freely give happily give okay arrogantly even uh, came to mind here but with this knight of cups and this knight of pentacles it's a tower moment this is something that is destined to happen something that is going to come to you something that is going to shine your third eye for you to see that this situation has a, a of course an ending to it it has an ending to it but it has like uh, epiphany I'm getting that but it got like a, 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 a surprising ending it got like a surprising ending to it something that's gonna be so shocking you gonna you gonna have to sit back and take a breather on this one because it's gonna be so amazing though with this nine of cups and the overall energy the nine of cups so whatever it is that is going to it has to rock it has to shake it has to break down everything in its components is being broken down everybody inside the situation has to have a breaking apart for this foundation to be rebuilt because what was built on top of it was very unstable page of swords very unstable it could have been communication people talking against you uh, family members even ten of wands carrying the burdens on your own but somebody is definitely coming and you may not see it for some there could be a job coming that is going to give you financial security financial happiness and and because i'm so nosy and i didn't recognize that i didn't turn the deck over now i have to see what this card is underneath here for this overall energy let's see what we'll back up this energy Mm, the four of swords after all of the situation after the tower moment after the recovery period i love it i love it i love that let's get some original to go and back it up let's back it up with this original to go you can hear the dogs barking mm. <coughs> I hope you can hear the rain because that's the purpose of having the door open uh, for my purpose as well because I love listening to the rain. Okay, we got, now remember we only, well, we got two major arcana. So again, the two Knight of Cups, somebody is definitely coming at you or something, something very financially stable or a love offer that is going to be uh, breathtaking wishes fulfilled the job position after the battle somebody could be out of a job right now um but 
a job is about to come to you that is going to be something that you truly enjoy doing, something you wanted to do maybe as you were growing up. And now the opportunity is being presented for you to have it. Um, why I'm looking, I'm looking because I need Mars action, Aries energy, very strong in your energy. Aries, very strong. Okay. Very strong in your energy. Two major arcana, that is a unity, something coming together. Uh, your life could be coming together. You could be getting a spouse with this Knight of Cups. This is an invitation, somebody offering you something uh, romantically. Uh, this Knight of Pentacles, a job position that you truly want. Somebody offering you a, a partnership in a business that you wanted to be a part of. But this Five of Swords is here coming out in the original tarot deck. It's starting off with the Five of Swords. So you know that it's a lot of conflict and something going on. And look at this. Look at this. This Nine of Wands. Now you know this Nine of Wands is saying that you've been wounded. You're a wounded warrior. You stood your ground. You built your castle. You actually built your wall. Okay, I feel like you started with your foundation. You built your wall first. Like most people would have built the house and then built a wall around the house. But you built a wall. <sighs> Sad because you're so different. Who like you? You know what I mean? Who would have thought of that? Because once you build your wall, then ain't no telling what you get back there doing. Now nobody know. And I feel like you might have set yourself apart. Most times we set ourselves apart because we stay away from everybody. And you was re recovering them four of swords right there, recovering from from these all of these trials and tribulations you done been through. Because you done been through a lot of them. And you got a lot of people that's always been against you. And you always helping somebody out though. You done took a lot of people in behind your wall. I think so much so that even your own people are that same way as giving and as loving as you are. And ready to open up the door and give people a chance. You really got to do something wrong to a stage like to a, to a pinnacle. So you really got to be juggling. You really got to know that something is... You've mistreated. You really in a five of swords energy if a Sagittarius stop messing with you. <laughs> you really in a five of swords. You really a thief. You really been deceptive. You've really been turn doing things negative, talking against uh you you never know when a Sagittarius hit that limit, boy. That's the end of that. And again, with them two of pentacles, I feel like somebody was juggling you. Somebody had your emotions, like playing games. Young blood energy, too. And probably don't have nothing to offer. And I feel strongly like somebody's house could not literally, figuratively, be burning down. They house is falling apart just fell apart and somebody could come to you with some deceptive energy but look at you you're not having that king of swords you're not on that no more like you you got your boundaries up you setting your your guards up because you already know for somebody carrying a relationship they didn't have no emotions to offer you they didn't have no pentacles to offer you and you carried a relationship for a long time but they see you as somebody who is able to carry the relationship so maybe they for a long time took advantage of that and then the house fell apart and now the people see for real who this energy truly is how this energy truly is and look at you i'm done eight of cups i'm i say eight of cups because i'm looking at the nine of cups 
eight. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, what I listen, somebody in eight of cups, meaning from the nine of cups, you done poured one of them cups out time ago. <laughs> Six of Swords, time to go. I don't even know how I jumped to the Eight of Cups from that. Looking at the listen. And the, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. Look at this. I don't know about you, but for me, the Four of Swords is right here. The Six of Swords, you know that's Ten of Swords. Oh, I'm about to get deep. Oh my God. And then here go Five of Swords right here. But he go to nine of cups and he go a cup right here. And minus one, take, he took that cup away and was playing with that cup. And that's why it's like eight of cups now. That's why the eight of cups came out of my mouth. I'm not saying that's why. I'm just making up an excuse as to why. You know what I mean? <laughs> because that was that's pretty right there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, that was pretty deep for me. But yes, with these cups and these swords, everybody here, all the elements are here. You have everything you need to make, make your dreams come true. That's what I'm hearing. Make your dreams come true. You have let go of negative energy. Come on, Ace of Pentacles. Thank you. I want to say thank you right now. I want to stand in gratitude right now because at this point, we got to say that we are divinely guided and protected. We are definitely put here and given the things that we truly ask for and hope for. And you've been through a lot and it seemed like you was never going to get the things that you deserve to get. You deserve it. You did a lot for people. You've taken a lot. You've come down roads most people couldn't have walked. Some people wouldn't have made it in your shoes. And now it's time. It's time for you to be handed gifts. It's time for you to receive. It's time for, and look at look at this Knight of Pentacles with this pinnacle in their hand. And then he go to Ace of Pentacles on the side of it. And then he go to Two of Pentacles with the, you about, your money is definitely about to grow. Increase. You about to get several opportunities. That's going to change you financially. That's going to elevate you and your family. Generations to come, Nine of Cups. Emotional happiness. Sagittarius, way to come out in your read. You've been coming out lately because lately, you standing in your power. I really, really strongly feel that you really standing in your power. Like you are here, healed, ready, open, receiving. The third eye is open. Your intuition, your discernment. You are elevating, you are spiritually connecting to source and your energy and vibrations is rising and you attracting all these wonderful things into you. And it's goodness and mercy here. One foot on the, on the water and one foot on land. So one foot in your emotions, one foot in your healing, your growth and your earth and your element, okay? Oh my gosh, Sagittarius, I feel that so strongly. And that's a third pen. That's a third. Oh my gosh. And then these two cards pop out in the end. I cannot make this up. Oh my God. The Emperor. The Empress, the Empress, the Emperor. The Emperor was the first card that came out in this read. And then the Empress and the Ace of Wands just came out. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Not only are you about to be financially wealthy, you are about to be sexually happy um relationship 
it is it's about to be amazing this is going to be a wonderful relationship be careful for some because pregnancy is here for somebody this is a, a, a the the tower had to come down this relationship is hand picked you get two hands from heaven giving you resources giving you love giving you your opportunities opening your doors giving you the nine of cups your heart's desires reaching goals being stronger than you've ever been in your life before. I feel that. Sag, what? What? Taurus energy. Somebody who was sick is now feeling so healthy and so revived. And the Five of Swords looked at me to tell me that this is just what life has when you got to go through because you know that sometimes things happen in life and you have no control over the things that happen, only your reactions. Let's put some money out here. Let's see what the money deck has to say for so much. Unexpected. Mm, something is prepare for unexpected financial loss for some that was leaving a job, losing a job. But celebrate is here. So somebody is about to celebrate your accomplishments. Somebody is getting some time off. Somebody is being celebrated for their successes. Somebody is being celebrated for this new relationship. Somebody being celebrated for this pregnancy. Congratulations, Sag. Somebody is celebrating a new job. A new business, a promotion. There may be an unforeseen increase in your income. And it's crazy, unexpected. And this is exactly what the Five of Swords is in this message to say. Because this is a wonderful message. You walked away from everything that no longer serves you. No longer makes sense in your life. Rain, rain, rain hard. Rain, rain, rain hard. Just want to hear the rain. Okay. And so, for somebody, there is a lot of celebration. Working smarter, not harder. You're about to find the solutions you've been looking for for some. Fear. Don't let fear stop you from doing Whatever it is you feel like you need to do, want to do, overcome your fear of success or failure. Don't sabotage your own success. Don't allow fear to make you forget your greatness. Okay? It, re it may re require you to step out of your comfort zone to achieve the abundance you desire. always stop raining when I want to enjoy the rain. Oh, hold on, y'all. This one faking. And y'all know we in the dark. Easy does it. Slow and steady wins the race. Come on, we got some more cards to go. We're not done here. Do y'all know I will get up and shut the door if it don't rain? <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just me, Sag. It's just me. So let the universe be magical and rain hard. Persistence. Stay hard on what you're doing. Stay strong at what you're working on. Your efforts have not gone unnoticed. Success will find you. Success will find you. Listen, you are being blessed financially. This is landing on top of the Ace of Pentacles. You are about to receive a windfall. Celebrate right now, Sag. You are. You should be happy in yourself because you about to some money about to fall all over you. This is on top of the Ace of Pentacles. 
for somebody the money is in alignment with you it's what stay persistent at whatever it is you doing because this windfall is getting closer and closer to you take action do something something is saying yes money is currently in a positive a positive cycle Whatever your question is, this is telling you to go for it. Do not procrastinate or wait. Go for it. Whatever it is, if it's the love of your life, the job you truly want, the car you really want, the house you want, go for it. I don't know what that noise is. Okay, that could be the refrigerator or something. Partnership. I told you somebody about to be in a partnership. Somebody about to get married. Okay, congratulations. Somebody about to be in a relationship. Somebody about to move in together. Somebody about to get a partnership in a business. Let's see what's the tea. Ooh, y'all know I like these cards. I ain't even seen what every single last one of them look like yet. Excite me. Come on, energy, what you want to say? A lot. Queen rising, stepping into power. Praised, coming up, spotlight. <clears throat> Somebody about to be in on like TikTok famous or in the news or something, cyber bully. You are being bullied online or they are suffered from it. Or somebody is suffering from cyber bully. Haunting, memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. Wow. Caught a case, sexual infection, sexual disease, rash, etc. Oh my gosh. Sagittarius, be careful. What does that even mean? I'm sad. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm glad I ain't got nobody right now. That's scary. <laughs> Y'all, that's so scary. That's why we stay to ourselves. Inside scoop, a closer look nosy up in your business. Dang. Somebody all up in your business. Dang. Well, they about to see that windfall. Somebody about to build a relationship that's going to turn into an amazing partnership. What else you got for saying? These cards trying to jump out, Sag. I got a lot of news for you. How y'all putting it together? Come on, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. How y'all putting it together? I wish somebody would tell me to rush. What? How you gonna rush? Creativity steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off of you. Wow. What does this mean? Some of your friends are no gooders. Wow. Somebody copying off of you, Sag. Well, everybody got a copycat. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna let you know you're doing something right. Somebody wanna copy what you did. Too busy winning. <laughs> Sag, you too busy winning. Yes. Yes. Ain't that it. Wants you back. Oh, somebody wants you back. Such a yes. It's too lovely. Let's get some of these red rose. Mystic red rose. That's just like the love book. Okay, I said I wasn't going to say it no more. 
sunglasses, watching, looking, perception, stalking. Mm. You keep getting a lot of stalkers here. My gosh. Is that really what you got going on? Say so a lot of stalkers. <laughs> they watching you. Seduction. Attraction, teasing, hooking up and dating, third party temptation. Ooh, we be careful. You get caught a case here. Sexual infection, sexual disease. Be careful. Talking. Interested. Awaiting messages, text calls, emails, same thing, same thing. Talking more. So somebody want to talk to you. Somebody about to come at you. Somebody about to propose to you. Somebody likes you. Somebody wants you. And somebody wants you better. Candle. Oh no, this a camera. Reminiscing. Making memories learned from the past. Perception. Well, I thought it said candle. Let's get some memory. I said memory. <laughs> Yo. I didn't even take a shot today. You get it for my daughter's birthday. I normally would take a, at least one shot with them, but I didn't. Number 19, rest and rejuvenation. Didn't we say that? Didn't we say you was resting? Yeah, with that four of swords. Get your rest in, Satch. Get your rest in. Uh, this is energy. Y'all say it memories, y'all. This is the energy that... 46th chakra archangel metatron is here to protect you the sixth is the sacral well sacral you know the sack you know the sack uh -huh. yeah mm -hmm. you know what that means give me a couple more for sag number seven community it's about to be a celebration. Your family about to come together. You're about to have a family reunion. It's about to be an invitation to a party. You're about to do something partnership. That's going to start a community affair. A community event. Somebody sets up community events, number 37, third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. That's your throat. Week five, attachment. Yeah, somebody's going to have an attachment to something. Let's get an activation oracle. Because we got to activate our powers, to activate our energy. Synergy, number 41. The frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of not so obvious, never seen before combinations and unions that result in new ways of functioning, working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It reminds us to embrace the unfamiliar so that new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. I love it. We started with a prayer. We end with a prayer. And today's prayer card says, For you are my rock and my fortress. You lead and guide me for your name's sake. Psalms 31 and 3. Sag, I love you. I hope you love me. My information in the description box below. And I'll be back with you soon. And until then, I love you. Stay safe.